This is my, hopefully, fingers crossed, very brief response to Dan Brown's response to the videos in which they were responding to Dan Brown's video on Friday about him possibly potentially quitting Dan 3.0. That only took one take. To put it very briefly, good. Dan, for a long time I was compared to you before Dan 3.0 started, except that I had a large beard and that's about the only difference. My current style of vlogging, which is, you know, topical discussions, is partly inspired by you. Granted, it's also partly inspired by the fact that I just like to have discussions, but you were the first on YouTube to really spark large discussions that I paid attention to. Sure, there were others that came before you, and there'll probably be others that come after both of us, but for a long time, we were compared to each other. In fact, I would suspect that people still compare us, but they just don't tell me about it anymore. When you announced this new project, Dan 3.0 at VidCon, I was pretty excited about it, although TPing the crowd kind of put me off a little bit, but hey, it's what you do. And for the most part, I've kind of enjoyed your videos, up to a point. When Mikola suggested that we start topical discussions again, I was in full favor. However, you didn't really do it. At least not with a level of earnestness that I was hoping for. Now granted, that was probably my own expectations of what you as a content creator were going to create, and I fully respect your creative freedom, but, you know, I'm also kind of a consumer and I would like to see you doing more Dan 2.0 stuff. I think the problem, and I've found this to be true on my own channel, is that people don't know what they want to hear you talk about. The best discussions are the ones that are started by you because you're passionate about something. For instance, the education topic you started however long ago that was. You started the discussion because you were passionate about something, because you were moving in a direction that you were moving in, however much that makes sense. And therefore, when you made your video, it sparked some serious interest and lots of video responses because you showed passion. But when you talked about WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, you didn't have the same passion because you didn't really care about the subject, or at least that's the way it appeared to me. You may have cared about the subject to a certain extent, but just not the same passion that you showed with your education video. And this is the same problem that I have when I ask for suggestions as topics, because oftentimes people don't suggest things that I'm actually passionate about, they just suggest things that they're passionate about. So they should start the videos. I find that my most compelling content, and your most compelling content, is the stuff that we actually give a shit about. The stuff that we're really deep down passionate about. That's the stuff that gets people talking. That's the stuff that gets people coming back and watching and favoriting and liking and sharing around our videos. It's not the videos in which we talk about something that we're mm, iffy on. It's the stuff that we really give a shit about. I've already said that. See you later.